it's miserable. It's just miserable. It's just miserable. It's miserable. It's just miserable. That it's miserable. It's miserable. Miserable shit. <laughs> I, I keep using the same word, but it's miserable. Miserable things. Miserable situation. Miserable. Just miserable. Daddy, no! Well, I hope you've all had a great Martin Luther King Jr. Day, chat. I hope, uh, I hope you went out and celebrated the proper way by wearing mega hats around, uh, <laughs> around black Israelites. Because that's how you celebrate this holiday. At least that's how you do it properly. Oh, it has been, it has been a busy weekend. Now, the stream isn't really dedicated towards it. I'm sure Ralph on the kill stream will cover the, you know, the vast majority of it. But Taka was a, uh, a no-show. Did not show up. Uh, our chief uh, ran away. <laughs> Shockingly, surprisingly. Decided he wasn't going to uh, grace anybody with his presence at the event that he, you know, set up. Asking Tara LaRosa to get a hold of Tim Loy, set up a fight between him and Andy Worski, and then, you know, sends in false blood work and paperwork and doesn't show up. Really, really Tonka tough. But I, I'm getting word that there are gay ops afoot. Strange things are happening on the internet right now, and I don't really know how to peg it. Maybe maybe Tonka knows how to peg it or take a peg, you know what I mean? But, um, deleted all his videos. And apparently, other people are following suit. Looks like David Shitrat has deleted his videos and privated his Twitter account. And I'm getting word that Jeff Holiday has deleted videos and is privating his Twitter account. So I can only expect the gayest of ops the most homosexual operations that we, we've ever seen grace the internet are coming our way. I'm sure Kraut's right in the middle of it, just leading the fucking charge for everybody. Uh, with that out of the way, th this stream, again, is not about our little Donga. Uh, check out the kill stream tonight, and they'll talk about it and fill you in on all those fun details. Now, this stream is about some long-lost audio. A long, long time ago, eight or nine years back, I came across a uh, YouTuber by the name of Bohepens the Third. Now, I'm not sure what compelled he and his friends to publish this. Uh, I'm going to guess they're autistic and retarded. But they decided to put up a Skype conversation where Bohepens has a fucking mental breakdown because his grandma basically said, wash your balls. And it's a 50-minute conversation between the group. Now, I made a soundboard out of this because it was so incredible. I don't think you've ever really heard a grown man choking back tears as he quotes Final Fantasy telling his friends that online friends do count and fuck you mom and dad. This is some high caliber top quality shit. And it was lost. Once people started making fun of him, once the soundboard came out, magically deleted, no copies I thought uh, existed on the internet until somebody, somebody linked me a copy. And I'm so overjoyed by that that we're going to be listening to it. Because how can you, how could you not want to listen to an autistic man quote Final Fantasy about online friendship? It's just, it's spectacular. This audio is other fucking worldly. It's just that good. And so I, I watched it when it was linked to me and I, I laughed because I remember how incredible it was and decided, fuck it, I'm going to do a stream. We're going to do a listen along as Bohepens and his friends talk about this. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you know, it, it, it's interesting. As time changes on the internet, we come up with new labels for people. You hear shit like MRA, Incel, Brony, all of these different things, all these little subgroups, and we have an idea of the character that belongs in those subgroups. But this, this is old internet. Well, not really old internet, but for the majority of you, probably old internet. Like 2010, 2009. Before all those fucking groups really were prevalent. This isn't, uh, this isn't the current internet. But I think you're going to be shocked by how many of those character traits present themselves as you're listening to Bohepens. You're going to probably listen to this audio and think, holy shit, that guy sounds just like a... And you'd be right. 
You'd be right. In fact, we have a, a nice little end cap to the audio afterwards where we're going to take a look at where he is now. And it's not really fucking surprising. It's, it's not surprising at all. I'm going to pull the audio up, get this set up. Let me make sure I got the stream ready. I hope you're fucking excited, chat. I'm excited. I, I really, I thought this audio was dead and gone. But magically, it's still out there. Somebody fucking saved it. So thank you, Gaming Journal, who, for all I know, was a member of Medicare, and I just never checked his fucking channel. Either way, the title that he gave it was The Crybabies of Let's Play. I'll, I'll give you a, a slight background of uh, your run-of-the-mill, shit-tier fucking Let's Player on YouTube right when it became popular. Uh, tried his damnedest to put up, like, Mega Man Let's Plays and shit like that. Nobody watched them. And I just, I, it's just one of those things you stumble across audio sometimes that's just amazing. And this was such a case. So this is Bo Heapens and his two friends talking. And they, by the way, they published this. Nobody got this off their computer through illicit means. They sat down after having this fucking conversation and thought, I think I'm going to put this up on the internet. That's a good idea. So let's, uh, let's start this bad boy up. The Tale of Bohepens the Third, the long lost Let's Player. Any, any, anyone who is less than understanding about this, we can just simply block them and be done with it. Right. Okay. We are recording now. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is a rather change of pace. This is not a random com, even, it's something else. We'll probably have the logo up for this. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Brent, I hear something bad happened to you recently. This afternoon, yes. Okay. It's very emotional. You don't understand my families and things that are very upsetting to me. Oh, I'm excited. It goes from zero to crazy pretty quick, so buckle up. All right, so I spent the weekend at my mother's house. She lives like an hour away. It was it was fine. Uh, my grandmother offered to take me home. Sure. Halfway there, she decides to launch into a lecture. And goddamn, did that hurt? I'm sorry. I'm gonna get this out. I promise. Just okay. <sighs> First thing she made very clear is that I'm a quitter and a fucking loser. <laughs> and apparently I'm from a family of fucking quitters and losers. <sighs> Excuse the fuck out of me! Where did you come from saying that? I know she's my grandmother, but god damn you think she would... <sighs> oh, fuck you, Grandma! What are you doing? <sighs> Apparently she thinks I did okay in elementary school, but I just gave up in high school and college. She acknowledges that I was bullied, but that was no damn excuse, apparently. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah nice forgetting the fact that she pulled me, uh, she, and my, she and my mother agreed to pull me out of high school early because of the bullying being too much, and shoved me right into college. I'm sorry, I think I was a little young and just wasn't ready for it. But sure, go ahead and blame me, why the fuck not? Can you imagine it? Can you imagine our little Let's Player, our little Bo Heapens, gets bullied so fucking hard he has to get pulled out of school? <laughs> pulled out of school, sent to college, and now here he is at the, the young age of 25 years old, screaming about his grandma on the internet with two other autistic retards. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Which led to her saying that apparently I'm pretty smart, but I'm too lazy and worthless to do uh, to capitalize on that. That I did not live at all up to any kind of potential that I have. <laughs> and that any time there was the slightest challenge in life, the slightly difficult, I would just run away. What the hell? What have I ever done? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm the bravest person, but god damn. <laughs> Not a fucking coward. No one, no one ever said you were. Well, actually, yeah, they did. His grandmother said he was a fucking coward. She also said he was lazy. And apparently, I'm guessing those bullies in high school had similar insight into his psyche. 
Everybody thinks Bohemian's a giant vagina. But it's his 80-year-old grandmother that broke him like a fucking twig over her knee. I'm going to I'm I'm going to reserve my insults for the end of this. No, I, I would appreciate that. If you're going to say something to say by all means, I'd just like to get through all of it first and then go right ahead. Okay. <sighs> She also decided to lay into my mother, which, that's, that's pretty fucking priceless. She said my mother was, was, basically my mother was selfish and would dump me off to other people any chance she would get, be it family or friends or whatever. Yeah, that would, that sounds about right. Plenty of mother issues here. Uh, not that that really made much difference while growing up, the family, and especially my mother, would either shove food in my mouth or stick me in front of the TV to shut me up and leave them alone. Yeah, that's great family attention right there. This is so fucking emotional, Mommy. Mommy made me go play outside night for Grandma. You're gonna blame me for telling you this when you admit that's what you did with me. You're gonna blame me even for this. Honestly, what child controls that? <laughs> Honestly. It's called neglect. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. My, my mother would joke about this, but I, I'm damn serious. I would give a shrink a field day. We would spend 12 months solid before we could just getting everything off, just before we could even start making progress. Mm. That's how long it would take to go for 25 years of this bullshit. Mm. And apparently, this is a great time. Apparently, it was a great time, according to my grandmother, to tell me that my mother would sometimes steal money from her. Uh. Mother's a fucking thief. Mother's a thief and the son's a coward. Oh, I'm already getting a good idea of the family dynamic going on here. I'm excited. I'm excited for the rest of this call. Great. My mother was a thief before uh, when I was really young, or before I was born, or whatever. That's great. That's fucking wonderful. And apparently my grandfather, he passed away some years ago, and I didn't get to go to his funeral, but that's a whole nother rant for the time. Apparently, he was supposedly lazy and worthless as well. <laughs> sure, thanks. Let's speak ill of the dead, especially some of the decent fucking... Ugh. Wow, this family sounds like a bunch of winners, doesn't it, chat? I want to, again, remind you, they willingly put this up onto the internet. They listened to this and thought, should I put up a video where I have a breakdown and tell everybody that my mother's a fucking thief? And that I'm a lazy coward, and my grandfather, my dead grandfather, is a lazy fucking coward too? Would that be good for my Let's Play career? You know what? I think it would. Let me hit the publish button. So apparently by genetic lottery and fate, I'm just destined to be a fucking loser because my whole family is a bunch of fucking quitters and losers. It's very encouraging. It's very fucking encouraging. Yeah, clearly nobody encouraged me growing up, and it still hasn't changed 25 years later. A whole lot of fucking good that's doing. And she also... I hate to speak ill of family, but dumb bitch wants to tell me that I should have had two or three girlfriends by now, and that online doesn't count. I will, like, I wish... I, I, his grandmother's probably dead by now. It's been ten years. But if I could find his grandmother, I would send her a bouquet of roses. Not only <laughs> during this emotional car ride did she call him basically a bitch, she also said stop erotic role-playing with grown men on the internet and get some real pussy in real life. You are a disappointment to our lineage. Fuck would she know then about love? What the fuck would she know? <laughs> This very convenient she would be. It's not her fault. Good. <laughs> and it's not. Oh, I didn't add those sound effects, by the way. I'm going to back that up just a second. Oh, uh, that's him beating himself. He took a belt out and he beat himself with it. Let me just, let me replay that as he sobs about Grandma telling him to get some pussy. That I should have had two or three girlfriends by now and that online doesn't count. Fuck would she know then about love? What the fuck would she know? <laughs> this very convenient she would be. It's not her fault. Good. <laughs> and it's not. And I would 
hope it's not my fault either that I can't yet be with Sarah. So if she's the fuck out of us, there's a country, there's a country border between us, all right? He's got a real girlfriend, guys. An international online girlfriend. We know how real those are, don't we? I'm not a loser. I'm dating a chick from uh, the fucking Middle East. It's just impossible for her to fly out, Grandma. Really, we're deeply in love. It's a real human being I'm talking to. No, I've never seen a picture of her. I've never heard her voice. But I'm telling you, if that ocean wasn't in between us, we'd be fucking in your car right now. <sighs> Not that my grandmother would even believe it's real anyway. I mean, honestly. And she also thinks that I should, uh, by now, and I'll just have a couple, have had a couple of girlfriends, also this nice group of friends around me that online doesn't count because everybody on the internet apparently is, is fake and a liar, some 35, 40 year old pedophile looking for his next victim. Hold it! I mean, fuck. I, I'm sorry, but I, I have to declare objection on that. I don't think his friends liked this dude's grandma saying that there are a bunch of fucking old pedophiles hanging out with him. Did you hear? Did you hear how angry he got? Let me just back that up a little bit. How dare your grandmother? How dare your grandmother say that I want to fuck your, fuck your little boy hole? I mean, honestly. And she also thinks that I should, uh, by now, and I'll just have a couple, have had a couple of girlfriends, also this nice group of friends around me that online doesn't count because everybody on the internet apparently is, is fake and a liar, some 35, 40 year old pedophile looking for his next victim. Hold it! Oh, can you hear the rage in his voice? He did not like that at all. Graham Graham is going deep on this motherfucker, and she's taking his friends with him. This bitch dug three holes. One for Boheepin's ass and two for his retarded friends. I mean, fuck. I, I'm sorry, but I, I have to declare objection on that. Because clearly she does not realize that no matter how far away people are, that, that people can still be friends even if they're thousands of miles away or even dozens of miles away. It doesn't even matter whether it's online or not. If they actually develop a rapport between each other, if they actually learn to trust each other, they can be friends, whether or not they can actually see their face. And believe me, I would be happy for my online friends to be physically close to me. That would be awesome, but that life circumstances won't allow that. I, I, would love to get in, I would love to get in this hag's face and shut her down. I want to beat your grandmother up. I Tell me your address, Boheepins. I'm going to beat your grandmother's ass. How dare she say that you are a loser who needs to get some pussy and socialize. Bitch is going down. Like the malfunctioning machine that she is. And my, my grandmother is a lot more caring than yours. She actually understands that I have friends out there who I can't be with because they're so far away. The amazing thing is, I swear that 10, 15 years ago, she was actually decent to me. When my mother would would run off to who the fuck knows where. It yeah, that's really remarkable, isn't it? Your grandmother was decent to you 15 years ago. You're 25 years old. You were 10 years old at the time. All grandmothers are nice to 10-year-olds. But do you know what changes? After puberty, and after college in your case, when you're a fully grown fucking adult man, Living in your grandmother's basement. That's what changed Boheepins. That's why your grandmother isn't baking you cookies and muffins and cupcakes. She wants you to get the fuck out of her house. She wants you to get a goddamn life. At least she would sometimes be there for me. I don't know what the hell happened in the last decade, but she's just she's gone now. She's gone, just like the rest of this family. I want to say perhaps mental illness. Undocumented. It would, explain, it would explain my mother, you know, like, mother, like, whatever, but. Your grandmother's crazy, clearly. Clearly you are a catch. Boheepins, if I could have you live in my basement and pay for everything you need, so you could sit, sit around on the computer smelling badly, dating a girl from Saudi Arabia who's probably not a girl, I would do it. And to say otherwise is a clear sign of dementia. Your grandmother obviously has lost her mind. Who doesn't want to throw money at the money pit known as Boheepins the Third? 
I wouldn't doubt, this is just me speculating, but I wouldn't doubt I have some form of depression, but not like I'm ever going to see a shrink. The family doesn't give a shit. Sure, my mother can get a shrink, but not me. I'm not good enough for that. I'm not good enough to acknowledge that I exist until a random weekend they just occasionally decide to come around. They've even told me, if anybody even told me in the past that they would make plans and conveniently forget about me. After the fact, oh wait, we didn't invite Brandon on these. They Macaulay Culkin'd him. His family hated him so much when they would plan a trip to Disney World, they would conveniently forget that he existed. <laughs> they would get the plane tickets, book the hotels, get to another state to go enjoy Mickey Mouse, and then somebody would say in the group, Hey, why doesn't it smell like ball sacks and nachos anymore? Oh shit, we left Bohebans at home. Quick, somebody get him a bus ticket. Oh well, who fucking cares? What kind of fucking family is this? It's a family that you shouldn't even be with anymore. <laughs> worm, worm your way into someone's... Go on, go on, go on. I like the Freudian slip he had there. Worm your way. Not, not go find another family or another group of friends or some supportive uh, mechanism to help you get over your shit. Worm your way in there, Boheepins. You fucking living virus. And they think I'm joking when I can't bring up yeah, that sometimes I wonder if I was either adopted or switched at birth. No, sometimes I really have to wonder because I'm like, how am I anything like these people, honestly? <sighs> And then she decided to get personal. Apparently, uh, not only am I ugly, I'm fucking overweight. It shouldn't be, and she wants to go and blame half that on my mother as well, even though that really doesn't mean anything, because she'll lay into me. Into me. His fucking grandma died. <laughs> she, did, she didn't know. She didn't know. She didn't just say he's fucking lazy and stupid. She also said that he was fucking ugly and fat. Oh, I would have paid money to be on that car ride. You fat, smelly... Loser, get a fucking job. Me for it too. It's t Do you honestly think I chose to be like this? I, I, it's hard. To I, I gotta say, Brent, I really do sympathize with you on this because I'm pretty much the same way. I mean, I'm overweight as well, and yet my what? What a shock! Family, they don't care. They they like me the way I am. They're not. They're not. They don't want to treat me like I'm some sort of automaton. It's like what came up in childhood was all lies. Oh, there's all varieties of people, shapes, sizes, whatever. No, apparently that was all lies. Apparently if you're not perfect, you're fucking nothing. That's ridiculous! <sighs> oh, poor Boheepins. I don't think it's that Grandma wants you to be perfect. I think she just wants you to get under the 400 pound mark, buddy. I think I think if we could get into the 300s, Grandma would probably be a lot happier. And ironically, that's how I feel sometimes when I'm at my job. Sometimes I feel I'm too rigid, I need to follow the rules, but now, nowadays, I'm like, man, if I, if I go back to the way I am, they're, they're just going to be massively disappointed, and I'm, this is why I can't fi seem to find that gray area. With some idiots, there is no gray. I mean, yeah, with me, it's pretty much black and white thinking. And, of course, as always, the job issue came up. It's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I wanted to go the, the last two and a half years of that job. I wanted to half fucking starve by now. <laughs> Is anybody surprised that he doesn't work either? That he's fat, ugly, lazy, and stupid? And for two and a half years living in his grandmother's basement, he hasn't had a job. Does that, does that shock anybody in chat? As soon as my roommate was gone, I was down to $25 a week for groceries, and that is it. Which, honestly, it may not sound that bad, but it's pretty fucking bad. Alright, I'm not, like, starving or dying here, but it's pretty, it's pretty tight. So, so, honestly, they think I like that for some reason. Fuck is wrong with these people? They think I don't want a job. They think I just refuse to I just stay in this house 24 so I refuse to go outside, like... They don't realize the economy is a crapshoot at best right now. And what you need to realize, Grandma, is that it's really hard to get a job when you're too fat to walk out the front door. 
I I wanted to work at Quick Mart. I wanted to work at 7-Eleven. But my man tits prevent me from walking through the door frame. Grandma, the economy is bad. Yeah, I mean, the last job I had was a temp, was a temp job that apparently, as far as I can tell, was canceled early. And I have no idea why. The only things I can think of are is there was no more money left in for the budget. And what's really great is the the last three jobs I had, my grandma going on about me being a quitter, I didn't quit those three. All right, before that, I admit I was young and kind of stupid and flaked out a little. The last three jobs, I grew up, and I dedicated to them. They fired me. I didn't quit. They got rid of me. <laughs> See, I'm not a loser. I didn't quit my jobs. They just fired me every time I had one. Sure, I only worked there for two or three days. It's not my fault I was always late, smelled bad, was fat and ugly and stupid. They just had it out for me for some reason. Maybe it's because I hit myself with a belt and cry at the drop of a hat. I don't know. It's a mystery, really. And honestly, that, that's all debatable, but at the very least, I'll certainly not a quitter on that. She must give me shit about that. I don't fucking think so. The truth okay. is, she doesn't really know you. Of course they don't. They don't even try. Like I said, they barely acknowledge my existence Crap, most of the time. Crap, hold on. Grab back. Someone's not going to my door. Pizza delivery, Lovely. I'm sure. Go on, man. I'm here. And it, well, apparently that wasn't enough for her either. Apparently when I grow, when I grow up, because apparently I haven't yet, I'm apparently going to be a horrible father that's going to teach my children to be the same way as the rest of my family. A bunch of fucking losers, quitters, and failures. I wouldn't worry about that. Judging by the sound of the voices in this call and the descriptions of their physical appearance as well as their mental states, I don't think you're going to have to worry about being a dad or raising children anytime soon. Unless you find a blind hooker who's also a paraplegic so she can't crawl away. She might use her teeth. I don't know, put some sugar on the floor and rot them out so she can't escape. But aside from that, I don't think you're going to have to worry about raising anybody. Who the fuck does she think she is? She's going to tell me how I'm going to raise my children? the fuck? Fuck what she know! Exactly. Who oh, the fuck? <sighs> this is supposed to be my family? These people? I mean, I, I can understand <laughs> tough love, but this is just insane. This is... There are few... Few times I would ever, I, am, I would ever be sorely tempted to break my personal code of not belting out swear words right and left. I want to cuss this woman out. Oh golly gee gosh, Bohapens! I'm super, super angry. I'm very peeved right now. If I were to meet your grandmother, I might say frick. I might actually say frick to her, Bohapens. But I'm gonna hold true to my personal ethics. I really do. <sighs> what they say is right. You can't choose your own family because, God damn, I wouldn't have picked these people. <laughs> and I'm sure they wouldn't have picked me either, so I guess that makes it about even. <sighs> Especially love how she brings up that part of this is the fault of me being an only child, as if I had some control over that. It's not your As if I had some control over the fact that the idiot my mother married when I was seven had had siblings with kids that fucking tormented me. I hated my cousins. Wait a second. Wait a second. My father had children with siblings that tormented me. My father had children with siblings that tormented me. I don't know if you caught that. I just want to make sure we all heard that correctly. Let me reverse the tape a little bit on this one. I think we're getting a better understanding of where the ugliness and stupidity come from. And I'm sure they wouldn't have picked me either, so I guess that makes it about even. Especially love how she brings up that part of this is the fault of me being an only child. As if I had some control over that. It's not your As if I had some control over the fact that the idiot my mother married when I was seven... I had, I had siblings with kids that fucking tormented me. I hated my cousins. But no, mother would force me to spend time with them anyway. Those fucking 
trapped! What the hell do they want from me?! It's even better. Dad didn't fuck siblings to get kids. Dad was fucking kids to birth siblings? I'm not sure what fucked up level of incest we're on. We might have to bring Destiny in to have him explain this to me. But <laughs> there's some crazy shit going on with the family dynamics. How could they blame me? I'm an only child. Maybe after they saw your result? Maybe after she popped you out in that emergency room, she looked down and she was like, this has been a mistake. We, we can't do this again. <sighs> And you are literally surrounded by peers that's been 24-7 telling you you are worthless. What are you supposed to think? No one ever had no goddamn self-esteem. No one ever told me otherwise. <laughs> Not even my own family. Not even my own family. I think it goes without saying that you desperately need to get away from them, as far away from them as possible. I just wish to God they didn't have me so financially trapped. I have literally, I have, just, I have nothing, I have no means of getting out of here. I would have years ago if I could have. It's like, God damn, it's an elaborate trap, and I'm stuck in it. Yeah, we're only 15 minutes into this. It's uh, 41 minutes in total. 41 minutes of what you're hearing right now. When I first came across this, I knew it was gold. Like, you can't you can't come across something like this and be like, nah, I'm not really interested. It had, like, I think maybe 30 views on it. And it was just, it was a magical moment. It's kind of like stumbling across Ross right on that live stream when there are, like, three people watching when he said he looked at kids in bathtubs. You get that feeling sometimes when you hear a little bit of audio and you're like, there's something here. 14 minutes in. And it's just been pure gold the whole way through, I think. All I can tell you at this point is wait for them to die one by one, get whatever inheritance they're, they're stupid enough to give you, and... And run. Yes. As soon as I have any kind of money whatsoever, I, that's why I've been planning to do. Just run. Just get the hell out of here and never look back. They will find not know Rachel. where I'm going. Just find her and... Don't kill, don't kill her. Just don't. Just don't. Just, chat, just don't. Okay, listen. When you find the bitch, don't kill her. You invite me over and I'm going to tell her, doodly do frickin' A. But just don't murder, don't murder her. Okay, just don't do it. Oh, oh, wait. Big old hug. Live with her. Oh, oh, Sarah, Sarah, sorry. That, that's I, the one, I, Sarah. Yeah, I'm, I'm terribly <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Random my queen, forgive me. It's, it's okay, I don't think she's going to kill you. As long as she's like, who the hell is Rachel? I'm like, honey, I don't know, I swear. <laughs> but... Yeah, and this this is even better, better apparently. Uh, my grandmother just retired recently. She's trying to move back into town. Right. And she says as soon as she moves in, she's going to start watching me really close. That's wonderful. Not only do they ignore me and some at the same time give me no independence, now they're going to be staying over my shoulder like Big Sister or something. You know, Big Sister from that award-winning book, 1974. Grandma's going to be keeping watch on me. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. They want to give me... They just, they just don't make any sense. They like contradict each other right living down the goddamn center. You know, I'm in a, and I'm anticipating people... Watch well, this. Not everyone, mind you. I know that there's still good people out there, but I'm anticipating some people on the internet going, oh, boo-hoo, shut the fuck up and get over it. You're not here! You don't know this! 25 and a half years of this! You have a fucking clue! And you'll never know! Thank God on your knees! You will never know! And if anyone has the audacity to troll this rant... Oh, I had the audacity. I <laughs> I had the audacity at the time. One, you are not a human being. Two, we are going to block you. Three, I think Glide knows a few hackers. Has Glide mentioned knowing hackers? Because I think she does. We'll make sure you, we'll make sure things are very bad for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my friend, uh, her name is Glide. She knows a couple of super hackers, and uh, skididdly do. She's going to hack you. All right, you better you better be nice or my friend Glide's going to she's going to super hack you. 
for laughing at a guy who's upset his grandmother said he was ugly. Anytime somebody says female and hacker in the same sentence, it's probably a sign that they're making things up. This chick we talked to online isn't, she's not even a hacker herself. She just, she knows the super hackers. But you'd better, you'd better be careful, chat. You don't want to bring the thunder down on you. I mean, sure, we might be a bit lax when it comes to this stuff like this, but no, not today. And to top pretty much the whole thing off, she apparently expects that I will not live past the age of 50 because I'm so unhealthy that I will not get past that age. And, and she probably even thinks that by then I'll still be alone. God damn it. God damn it. Just, just thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, lady. I need all the encouragement I get to survive life. Fuck. Can you kind of hear the energy getting sucked out of the call at this point? Like, he's been going on for 18 minutes now. And I think even at this point, his two autistic friends are like, God, is he ever going to shut the fuck up? We get it. You're upset. Stop talking so much. You talk too much. Let me let me take a small break here for one moment and check something really quick. And then we will continue we will continue with the goodness. I, I promise you that, Chad. Let me just uh double check something here real quick. Hopefully you're enjoying this amazing thing. Uh, I had some donations come through. So let me be a whore and earn some money here. Uh where is this page here? Alright, here we go. Oh, is that the right one? I don't know. I'm still it's a boomer with technology. What am I doing? From Truus55, reminder that Kraut, Sargon, Shitrat, and a few others are probably running gay ops to make Tonka look better right now. Not surprising. Hyphen. Ralph goes to jail for picking a fight with the cops. Tonka goes to prison for wheeling away from a fight. <laughs> I don't know. He took so many oxyberries. I don't know if he can wheel away from that. Moon Vlad, tell my big titted girlfriend who's homesick to feel better, you big Irish nigger. I will do so, Moon Vlad. I hope your big titted girlfriend. Who feels homesick feels better. From Ranger, how are you liking Ace Combat Seven? Had ha or haven't had a chance to play it yet. Looking forward to it though. From Tom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shit like this still exists, but nothing on HR Bomber Guy. From Burnt Trees, in the eternal words of Je Jesse Lee Peterson, beta or beta male. Data two hearts. Have some shekels on me, buddy. Use it to buy a ticket to Donga's funeral when he inevitably commits neck rope. Love you, Daddy Jim. Creeps work. I wish I had a living grandma to tell me I was worthless. Don't we fucking all? Br or burnt trees again? What did Five Fingers say to the face? Get a fucking girlfriend, you faggot. Uh, from Tuckbag. Glad we can all enjoy the audio together. You groom us too well, Daddy. PH War. Hey, Jim, did you make this soundboard? And it links to Newgrounds. If it's a Bohepin's Baw board, yes, I did make that. If it has a link to a Medicare thread that obviously doesn't exist anymore, that was the soundboard I made. I used to do that for fun. I would take Spurgs on the internet who were having mental breakdowns and crying in chat because Grandma didn't love them, and I turned it into fucking soundboards to use on calls. That was what I found entertaining. From Ace Warren, I'm positive that Hold It was quoted from Ace Attorney. I, I think it might have been. Coin flip four five eight. This audio is amazing. Got our gold tier stuff up there with Jesse Slaughter, a grade A late two thousands old internet comedy. Cheesy poofs. Medica, this is your Mima. Stop watching porn and get a nice girlfriend with big titties. <laughs> I love the fact that his grandmother fucking said that. Uh, from Loops, I'm not a quitter. I didn't even quit my last three jobs. I was fired. Checkmate, Grandma. Slow mo phobe. This retard should do his grandma a solid by jumping in front of a train so she'll never have to hear his fat, whiny, milk-curdling voice ever again. Just a few more here, and we'll get back to the uh, the audio. Joe Fru. So, if he's got no prospects of children, does that make him the last of the Bohefans? Uh, very well said. Ace Warren again. He said his dad had siblings with kids. Doesn't sound like incest. I could have sworn. <laughs> and the way he made it sound was like his dad was fucking his sister. Well, actually, fucking the kids and making a sister. But I don't know how it works in Bohepin's world. From HTRTU, I wonder, if Donga ever kills himself live on stream, would it be tasteless to joke about dead air? No, I plan on doing that if that happens. I'll be the first one to stream? Are you fucking kidding me? And finally, from Deep Fried Lettuce, 
Is this Boogie's leaked better help conversation? <laughs> you got me. I got access to it. I told him I was a psychologist, and they believed me. All right, that is our interruption for Super Chats. Let us get back to this glorious fucking audio. Uh, we last left off with Bo Heepins crying like a bitch. Shocking, I know. Does, does this just not matter? What, I, what I've done, what I've felt, what I've seen, what I've experienced, they doesn't add up to a lot, but is it really that meaningless? Am I fucking meaningless? Is that what she's trying to tell me? Is this the life justice gives everyone? And the whole time she's, she was talking about this shit, I couldn't look anywhere near her. I just looked out the window because I, could, I couldn't look anywhere near her. Because... He ran away. <laughs> Did he say slip out the window or look out the window? I want to make sure I heard that right. <laughs> And the whole time she's, she was talking about this shit, I couldn't look anywhere near her. I just looked out the window because I could, I could look. He, I swear to God, he said slipped out the window. I'm, I'm, I'm picturing a really obese fucking loser getting yelled at in a car by his grandmother. And he's such a pussy. He, he slips out the window. He jumps out the window on the highway because grandmother said to get a job and a girlfriend. Look anywhere near her because... <laughs> I was, I was pissed, I was depressed, I was fucking ashamed. She made me feel ashamed to exist. <laughs> there, there. there. If, I ever, if I ever meet this woman, I'm going to drink a ton of milk and then hawk a gigantic loogie right in the middle of her face. I'm going to money shot your grandmother, Bo Heapins. <laughs> when I meet your grandmother... I'm going to say that I think this is freaking wrong. And I'm going to I'm going to money shot her right on her sagging 70-year-old tits. I'm going to drink a bunch of milk and just just unload on grandma right all over Mima's face. I wouldn't go that far, but I will tell her leave him alone. You have no idea what he's going through. And then we get to town, the first thing she says is you know, I really shouldn't do this, but I'm going to get you a burger. I really shouldn't, you, if, because, you know, you're pretty big, but hey, I'll get you one anyway, because I'm feeling nice. Here you go, you fat tub of shit. You just cried in the car ride for the last 40 minutes. Shove some McDonald's down your fucking gullet. I can't listen to the sound of you mooing anymore. Here's, here's some food. Occupy your whining hole with this. Fuck you! The fuck with you! Just pour salt all over the goddamn wood. Why fucking not? Well, I'm fucking hungry anyway. I get home and I and I feel sicker than hell. You done? I hate this family. I hate this family. I shouldn't, and it's not fair. But they're not fair to me, and I want I don't want to love these people anymore. I just want to hate them. <laughs> I can't bring myself to entirely do it. Not even my mother, and she deserves it the most. <laughs> she deserves what I hate the most, and I can't do it. Yeah, it's all right and rage and scream at these people, but I can't. It... <laughs> Let go. <laughs> Again, as just a reminder, in case anybody just joined us, this is a 25-year-old man on the internet, sobbing uncontrollably because his grandmother told him to get off his lazy ass and then shoved the hamburger down his throat. Okay. Okay, I think you've said your piece. I have no words. No. Nothing I would be willing to say would cover the audacity, the absolute insanity, the it's no wonder I'm a depressed, emotional fucking wreck. These people made me this monster that they seem to think that I am. They think I'm a monster. They made it, not me. <laughs> it even has the aspy, heavy, heavy breathing. I love it. Just the, the high, shrill, nasally voices. The deep, fucking heavy breathing directly into the microphone. Ah. Oh. It's like a time capsule. Can't tell me this. Can't do this. I 
thank God, thank God that I have Sarah, otherwise I would either be dead or, or shell by now. I wouldn't be human anymore. I'd just be a zombie. I'd be a fucking zombie. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sarah's his fake internet girlfriend. You've also got us, man. Well, yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying friends are good, yes, but if I didn't have someone to love me the way this family has refused to, I would be gone. True, true. I mean, even yes. though, even though I don't, even I don't have a girlfriend, but I'm not being depressed about it. <laughs> just, is that a dig? Do you think? I don't know, but it's again shocking. Oh, well, I, I don't have a girlfriend. I'll, I'll spit in your grandmother's face, but for some reason, women won't love me. I can't, I can't put two and two together. Doesn't compute over here, diddly do. Because I know that my, at least my family actually cares. And I'm glad for that. I'm glad you folks have families that love you. Thank God, because I wouldn't wish this on the worst person that's ever I've ever encountered in my life. I wouldn't wish it on them. This, this. <laughs> right. <sighs> okay. And you know, it's fitting that I feel the urge to make a reference. Right. Okay. I think out of everything in this call, this is my favorite line, and I'm going to back it up just a little bit. I just, it's the thought, right? When you hear this audio, I want you to visualize a morbidly obese man sitting in his basement, a grown adult that weighs probably 400 pounds, sobbing, sobbing uncontrollably, fat, ugly, stupid, lazy, smelly, old, fucking retard, sitting in his basement, and he actually says this. He actually fucking says this to another person, and it's not satire, it's not a joke, he fucking means it. And you know, it's fitting that I feel the urge to make a reference right here, I can't help but forgive me. In Final Fantasy IX, it was said, uh, to be forgotten is worse than death. I believe to be unloved is worse than death. Thank God I have Sarah. And I just like to quote Final Fantasy VII, when Red Thirteen is talking to Cloud Strafe on the mountain, and he says, Bark, bark, shit! God, no wonder I'm a little warped. I've spent 25 years begging for this mother figure to be a fucking mother figure and failing that, trying to find someone to replace her because I needed that, and she wouldn't fucking do it. No wonder I'm 25 and I apparently haven't grown up. I haven't had a mother to help me do that. I've had nothing. You should probably make your case to uh, your local, probably make a case to City Hall or something to tell them that you, for the past 25 years... <laughs> Contact the government. Listen, here's what you do, buddy. You need to get a hold of the federal government or a local municipality and tell them your grandmother was being mean to you on a car ride. This bitch deserves hardcore, pound-me-in-the-ass federal prison time. How dare she hurt you? Years you have been treated like this, that it, yeah, you need to put a stop to it. I hate to say this, but it's entirely possible the statute of limitations for childhood neglect is gone. He's 25 years old. He's a 25-year-old man. He's going to call up... C why City Hall? Why Why City Hall? What do you think City Hall is going to do? They're going to have some fat guy call them up and say, Grandma and Mom said I need to get a job. Arrest them. What, what world does he live in? That, and I think emotional abuse is a little harder to prove than physical abuse. That could be me. What do I know about the law? But I think that would be harder. There would be too many doubters and naysayers. Even though, oh, he's faking it because he just wants some sympathy and attention. Fuck them, but I wouldn't be able to stop them from thinking that. But that, and I'm 25. I'm apparently old enough by law, at least, to be independent be out on my own. Yeah. Not that they've let me, but... They Not that they've let me. They've held me here. I'm chained up in the basement. They refuse to let me get a job and live an adult life. Somebody contact City Hall immediately. Get the mayor on this. I want, I want everybody. The fucking city council must come down here. How dare they not let me get a job and leave the house? That, I, that, I imagine that would be how the law would see it. And, not of, and, I, and the irony of this, all this, 
without them, you wouldn't we wouldn't you wouldn't even be talking to us right now. It's a sick, cruel irony, yeah, but I think it's true. Um, I kind of wish we had the resources to get him a plane ticket, Adam. I know. I mean, I I'd give him plane tickets to come here to Iowa. I wish we had. Listen, bro. If we work jobs, which we don't, we'd totally buy you a plane ticket to come visit us. At least for three days until our parents threw you out of our house. But if if we had the money, it would it would ha we need to kickstart this. But you know, sadly, this is from the old internet, so uh, there's no Kickstarter, no GoFundMe's for them. They they'd have to actually work for the money, and that's that's not happening. So we'd better stick with the city hall plan. I think that's our best bet. Or oh no, I held it just to Canada. If it wasn't for that damn border, I mean, it's the fact that obviously to legally move from one country to another is a little more complicated than just throwing money at it, but yeah. We're still doing what we can. Slow Maybe they could get him, like, a, a train ticket? But don't they charge by freight weight? Like, you know, if this guy's, like, 800, 900 pounds, they're going to have to get, like, a special caboose for him, right? That's going to cost a lot of money. Would it be cheaper to fly him out or put him in a fucking, uh, put him, put him in his own special compartment? On a freight train. Holy, but we're doing what we can. It just... <sighs> if it could have been sooner, if there could have been a lot less shit that has happened to get in the way, and just... Oh. Well, I think all I can say at this point is, if anything, you have to find a way to, to prove that... To, you know, to to the authorities that for the, that this has been going on, that you need to get out of this. Well, the problem here, Adam, is they would simply tell him go to a homeless shelter. That's in the government would simply tell him you're an able-bodied adult. Figure it out for yourself. That's the problem, Adam. Don't you understand? Our friend is in a pickle. He's in a pickle. We need to think up a solution on the Jiffy. Get our Canadian friend down here. Maybe maybe freight train him down here. Adam, don't you understand the Canadian government isn't going to wipe his ass for him? <laughs> Jordan Peterson doesn't exist yet. Nobody's going to call him Bucko and tell him to wash his balls. We're, we're up shit creek, Adam. Absolute insult. Mm-hmm. That's true. I just need out of here so badly. I I have for years, but this has got to be, it's got to be the worst. Got to be the worst today. Mm -hmm. Cannot fucking believe that. I don't even know how I did break down and cry or rage or something right there in the car. I was so close. I had to hold it back so badly because I knew it wouldn't make any difference. It would just make it worse. I have tried to fight back, and it just made it worse. His idea of fighting back when Grandma mocks him. Like, she's savage as fuck. But when Grandma goes deep on his fat ass, his idea of fighting back is sobbing. I had to hold it in. I almost broke down in tears because my 70-year-old Mima, <laughs> My 70-year-old Mima bullied me harder than the kids in high school did. Imagine what would have happened if you actually had fought back against those things that she said to you. We were like ten, 10 miles out of town. That'd have been a hell of a walk. A hell of a fucking walk. Well, if she imagine what if you actually walked those 10 miles and she was right there waiting for you, she'd probably be saying, "I am almost convinced this dude is throwing shade in a real subtle manner." First, it was the girlfriend comment, and now he's like, "Yeah, imagine fat boy. Hey, pig tits. Imagine if you had to walk 10 miles. That'd be fucking devastating. Oink for me." Oink for me twice, though I know that you understand how bad that would have been. Wow. You actually did something. You actually did that. Are you fucking retard? Well, yes, I am, because of you! God damn it! And that right there, she'd probably be taken aback by that. I doubt it. These people don't... These people... These people are showing all the classic signs of a condition I called not having a flipping soul. I still believe it's a damn miracle that I would be born to these people, that somehow their genetics got mixed up screwed and made me, of all things. I'm sure they're thinking the same thing.
How, how, how did we create this? I bet that's a thought they've had cross their mind, too. God, it's bad enough I never knew my father that he left before I was born. I never really knew my mother either. Go fucking figure. There's just got to be a way. And it's probably a good thing that, thank God, this is long in the past, so nobody needs to freak out or anything, but there were times years ago that I made a couple attempts at suicide, and they'll never know that. They'll never know how, how, how close. They'll never know how much of an attention whore I was with my fake suicide attempts. What happened, fat ass? Did the rope break? Did you, did you buy regular strength rope at a Walmart? And then realize that there's physics involved and hanging 500 pounds from a ceiling beam? Is that what happened? Did you did you try to overdose on pills, but realize that your metabolism in such a large body is fighting against you? That you need two or three bottles to make this happen? What? Tell us what happened with those suicide attempts. Most of about at the brink I've been more than once in my life, and didn't quite go. Oh, I'll never know. In fact, the only one that they did know, they blew it off, of course. <laughs> Fuck what they care, of course. Fuck. I'm not saying it was right or justified, but god damn it, when you're putting that kind of a corner, you know, it's, it's, it's expected to feel that way. <laughs> somebody, somebody in chat said he broke the ceiling. If he tried to do this on the second floor, maybe. <laughs> he tries to hang himself, and he takes out two floors of the home. They needed to call a repairman. No, it was a mystery. That's why he didn't tell him he tried to commit suicide. He didn't want to. He didn't want to get blamed for breaking the floor when the rope snapped. I see. Well. Well, having said all these things, do you actually start? Feel, are you actually starting to feel a bit, a little better? Yeah, I think so. I really needed to get that out to somebody. Well, good. Well, it you, needed to be said. It's been it's gone on too long that it it's been unsaid. Because honestly, when it's your family that comes down on you, who do you go to? Especially when I was younger and I had no friends. Who did I go to? No one. I had a corner to cry in, and that's it. They put me in the crying corner. They put Piggy in the crying corner. It was really sad. Well, it you... needed to be said. It's, been, it's gone on too long that it, it's been unsaid. Because honestly, when it's your family that comes down on you, who do you go to? Especially when I was younger and I had no friends. Who did I go to? No one. I had a corner to cry in, and that's it. Warmest reception I got was from a wall. And even the wall hated me. <laughs> the wall spontaneously combusts. His fat ass is sitting there. The body heat generated on his girth. Uh, this fucking sheer mass creates enough heat to burn the wall down. And it took that option and just went with it. I hate, and I hate to break a joke to us, but I guess during all those times you had gone talking to a wall. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. It's like, thanks, Squaw. <laughs> you summed up my childhood right there, buddy. I did go to talk to a fucking wall. It, it, Adam, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. It's, no, it's all right. I was thinking the same thing. I won't I won't freak about that. That was my thought, too. Okay. <laughs> Smack you! <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that was... <laughs> that was a good chunk of child. Of course, I was bullied. I had no one to go to to, to tell, hey, can somebody come up, somebody defend me? Can somebody hear me cry? No, there was no one there to do so. Can somebody come hear me cry? I just, who wants to do that? We're 30 minutes in. 30 minutes of him blubbering nonstop. And he wonders why nobody, why kids in like junior high and high school didn't want to listen to him cry like a whale. <laughs> Fucking fat ass seal just oinking and orking in the corner of a room why those kids wouldn't come over and listen to him 
just bitch about grandma and mom saying he's a fat, ugly, worthless piece of shit. You know, if I were in those situations, the only in those situations, if you have gone, God is the only one that could possibly be listening. No kidding. Didn't help that this was, that it came to a head during the childhood anyway, right after we had stopped going to church. That was oh. kind of fitting. Oh God. That to me is a red flag. Uh, she, I believe, she quit going uh, right when the relationship between her and my second stepfather got to its worst. And then when they split, just that was it. Never went back to church at all. Oh man. That's a very nice red flag for me, right there. And it was right after that when Mother started drinking again, and I've always hated that. I've always hated when she does that. She didn't abuse me getting drunk, but cause she kind of already did when not drunk. But, but she just acted like such a fucking moron while drunk that I can't stand. I can't stand being around that anymore. I'm going to be honest here, Chad. I'd probably be drinking pretty heavy if I had to live with this. If this, if I birthed this... And I had to look at it every day as it sat <laughs> sat in the corner at the wailing wall, just blubbering away. I'd probably be hitting the bottle. I'd be hitting it pretty fucking hard. I, I'm not trying to judge people that do, especially the responsible ones, but people like her. No, that's not cool, especially when you got a kid. Especially. There's a difference between recreational drinking and being a rathead drunk. And your mother sounds like a rathead drunk. Right. <laughs> I remember one time she passed out on the floor, and I had to throw a blanket on her so she could sleep. You should, maybe you shouldn't have. Oh, yeah. I Why know. did you? <laughs> because I could make myself stop loving her, no matter how much she hated. She apparently hated me and just didn't care about me. I still cling, as stupid as it is, to that concept of family of not giving up on them, of loving them even when it's hard. I'm well, that really is the getting value but... here. That is, it's that is not worth it. I know it's not. I know it's not worth it in this one situation, but I still can't entirely let it go. I will still rage and be angry at them, but at the end of the day, I still can't entirely let go of that idea. If that only is, because I want it to be true. If not, that is an incredible quality, my friend, but you've got to let go. There's no hope. I know. I know. And especially hilarious, my grandmother would tell me that I wouldn't be able to raise my kids right. Well, I clearly know plenty about what not to do. By process elimination, I may do halfway decent. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like how he's so delusional, he actually thinks that he's ever going to have children. And his friends are right there encouraging him. It's never going to happen, boy, he wins. No women, No woman is going to willingly, <laughs> willingly let you ejaculate inside of her. I don't know how you're going to accomplish it. I mean, you have a weight advantage, but I don't think you're fast enough to catch her. So I don't know why they keep going on about kids. Uh. Well, I think it, yeah, it definitely goes without saying. You gotta, you gotta find some way to get away from them, even as hard as it may be. You gotta find a way. I know. Believe me, I know. You know what I love about this, too, is just, it's a situation. We, you know, listening to this, and I'm sure you can all pick up on it, we all know this fat retard is never going to get a job. He doesn't want to move out of his house. He likes it there. It's comfortable. He's got his own little nest. He doesn't want to leave that little nest. He's content in that little nest. And the only advice his friends can give him, which is slightly realistic, is you need to get out of the house. How much despair do you think he feels at that moment? They're not going to buy him a plane ticket. They're not going to they're not going to money order him something so he can come live with them. Their only advice is basically what grandma is saying. Get off your fat lazy ass and get a job. They're just saying it in a much nicer way. And I bet that just pushes him over the edge. I bet he goes and beats himself with that belt after this call. Perhaps the best course of action is to really get uh, hunting on a job to actually prove to them that you actually do have initiative. Indeed. <laughs> My suggestion, temp agencies. You'll never have a steady job, but you'll have them coming in with enough frequency that it looks semi-impressive. And keep me alive, yeah. <laughs> yep. But other than that, all I can say is wait for them. 
wait for them to start slowly dying off. It, it, assuming, it, seeing as you're an only child, there's only there's not very many place there's not very many other places they can they can will their stuff to. So uh, his cousins. Oh no, that was step family. My mother divorced. There. Ah, uh, yeah. they're, thank they're, God. Uh, so they're but God. unfortunately, they yeah, were around just long enough my childhood to be another crucial part of fucking me up. So they cut off. Wow. That changes everything. Where else are they going to throw where else are they going to will their will their stuff to once they go? You know, listen here, buddy. You just got to skedoodly D wait it out. Wait for these people to die and then take everything they own. You got to play the long game, champ. That's my advice to you is play the long game. Grandma's got to die sometime and you'll get all her her Davenports and her doilies and her tea sets, and you can sell that for money, and you can eat more McDonald's. It's a long game. That's how you win. Uh, the irony of that. <laughs> Indeed. I just hope that I'll be out of here before this one won't even matter, because uh, the less time has to hear, the better. But at least that's something, anyway. Yeah. <sighs> Anywho, uh, so... Are we going to put this com on Arcadia, or should we put it on your channel? Yeah, where are you going to put it? Yeah, that's I brilliant. I think, I think it's more appropriate to put it on yours, since, Fair more, enough. since more people visit your channel. They didn't just put this up, they discussed where it would get the most views. Like, there's, there's a disconnect from reality here. How could you have this conversation? And then ask yourself, where can I have the most people watch this? It's fucking mind-blowing. And it was, it was for me, which I appreciate, guys, big time. You're welcome. No problem, man. I, mean, I, mean, I did say it was an emergency comms after all, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, so. Yeah, this was not This was important for uh, someone in chat. They want him to fail. Do you think his friends want to encourage his suicide? Do you think? Do you think they went into this knowing? Oh shit! That fat ass just said it's an emergency comm situation. Let's record this and put it on the internet so people mock him so hard he kills himself. So we don't have to listen to it anymore. <laughs> is that what he meant by the long game? Is his friend is his friend Ned Flandering his ass? Is that what's going on? For all of us. I mean, not only were you able to vent out things, but I think now everyone knows exactly why you are the way you are. For good and for bad. Yeah. But even, for despite... better or for worse, this is who I am, yeah. So all those times when you, you when you look like you're happy, you're just holding on to memories of being happy, or is it genuine happiness? When it's with you guys on the internet with my real friends, it, it's genuine. Believe me, especially since it gets me away from them for any amount of time. Ah. As long as <laughs> as long as I have to think about them, as long as I be with people that actually do give a damn about me, I really am happy. Trust me. I don't. I don't fake that. Right. Well. Well. Let me. At least attempt, in my own way, to cheer you up a little. <laughs> Are you gonna throw Twinkies at them? I mean, how do you digitally transport them? Is there a magical fax machine that can 3D print food for his fat ass? How are you gonna cheer him up? How do you think he's gonna cheer him up? Let's let's listen. Oh, <laughs> oh dear! You're gonna wait till oh, wait a minute! You're not. Oh, my God! He whipped his cock out. In case you're Two wondering. One of his favorite things. <laughs> he whipped his cock out oh. sitting in front of the my fucking webcam. God. Oh, good lord! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, Magikarp is evolving, all right. He's going to turn into... Ugh. Oh, my God. Pimpadose or something at this rate. <laughs> or, or better yet, this is... I want you to look at my Diglett. Take a look at my Diglett. It'll cheer you up. Look, he's, he's evolving. He's evolving into an erection. Look at my Diglett. He's going to evolve into a, tr a real mermaid. Great. When Krabby starts singing Under the Sea, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Yeah, that's the idea. If I capture a crab Pokemon, I'll name it, I'll name it Sebastian. <laughs> oh, 
teenagers. You give them an inch, they swim all over you. <laughs> oh, man. Better? Better? Well, let's be, let's be thankful. He's not flailing. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> if you were flailing, then that'd be a whole different story. Ah, oh, did you enjoy chat? <laughs> did you enjoy this emergency comm situation with Bohepins the Third and his two friends discussing why his entire family and everybody that's ever known him told him to get off his fat lazy ass, get a job, learn to shower because he smells. Told him he's too fucking stupid, maybe go back to school. And put a mask on because he's really fucking ugly. Now, Chad, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm not going to put this as a poll. But if we were to go look at Bohepin's page right now, just right now, that's been up for the last, I, I, I think it's been up for 12 years now. If we were to go look at it, what do you think he is right now, currently today? After everything you've listened to, what group of people on the internet do you think Bohepin's the third belongs to? I'll give you a second. I'm going to let you take your guesses. I'm going to pull up the page. And we're going to go we're going to go take a look at uh, what Bohepin's has been up to. Let's find out what our little boys uh, evolved into. Okay, I've got it pulled up. I've I've let the chat. There's a lot of guesses. A lot of guesses. I'm seeing Tranny, Skeptic, uh, Brony, uh, Furry. You know, lots of guesses. Let's uh, put this speculation, you know, to an end. Let's go take a look. Let's find out what our little boy has become. Let's see if our little man has grown up. Uh, which one do I want here? I think. Um, let's give me a second here. I want to make sure I get this right. I think this is the window I want. If you guessed he's a brony, pat yourself on the back. You have guessed correctly. Our little Bohepins is a full-fledged brony. He was a brony before it was cool. <laughs> he puts up pony videos now. No more Let's Plays for Bohepins. It's all pony-related material. That is what, that's what our little boy evolved into. Yep, if you called it, congratulate. Well done. Fucking knew it. Well done, chat, if you called it. I mean, any of the guesses really probably could have been right, but you, you fucking <laughs> round of applause. Nicely done. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's a, it's a little bit different, but when I heard this audio was uh, found, rediscovered, whatever you want to say, I, I had to share it because it's just fucking amazing. It's pure gold. It really is. This is the sort of person you encounter on Twitter now who <laughs> bitches about two scoops and the fucking wall. This is the guy that's, I, I, this is the one that's putting up clop porn in your fucking threads. That's who this guy is. And that's what he sounds like. And those are what his friends are like. It's just a living stereotype. Simply amazing. Now I will, uh, I think there are a few more donations. I'll read through the rest of those. Um, and then we'll, we'll, you know, it's a short stream. The kill stream will be on tonight. Might be on right now. I'm not sure, but it's it's soon. And if you want to know more about Donga, and you want to know more about Andy Worski and their fight and all the events surrounding it, uh, go check it out. It's on the same platform. It's on Stream Me at the Ralph Retort. Uh, so if you want to be kept current about what our little Native American is doing, that's where you would go to do it. Let me let me read the rest of these if there are any more, and um, we'll call it an evening. Where did I leave off here? Uh, from HTRTU, why these Spurgs always have terrible hygiene? Ross, Nick Bates, this fag. It is a common fucking theme, is it not? Medicare is, or Medicare's ice cream van. If he hung himself with strong enough rope, his neck fat would go over his head like a giant foreskin. It's a beautiful visualization, really. From Cloud, here's your good boy shekels. Sorry, just got popcorn. White trash, fro moke. Jim, you don't understand. He is actually physically trapped in the basement. 
Even if he could make it up the stairs, it was already tough for him to climb onto the chair to hang himself. His fat ass couldn't possibly slip through the doorframe. From Infected Carton. Why doesn't Bohepans just try to hang himself with the belt? Something made out of cow should be able to hold one up. I, that's the winner tonight, I think. Infected Carton. Well done. He should use his own kind to kill himself. I didn't think of that, but it's a brilliant solution. From Sock Puppet 1. Thank God you're back, Jim. Now I can finally stop watching Josh the Cyberbully and his feeder fetish. From George Clowney. Jim, play my friend's song, You Skipped. Um, I, oh, you're talking about for the contest? Maybe another time. Grass Cutter. Tonka Saw deleted every video on his channel, yet he is still selling mugs with Jim's face on them. Seriously, his shitty merch store is all he has left right now. From Senator Hitler. What kind of conversations did you have with the soundboard? I would like you to put up a... <laughs> I would like to put up a bounty for these lost prank calls of yours. If these clips can be excavated, anything can. Uh, happy hunting. Best of luck. From Coffin Joe. Forgive me, Big Jim. I'm about to swear, but frick. Entropy 93. I'm 19. I live on my own. I work a full-time job and take night classes at university. And I still have enough disposable income to throw a fiver at my favorite e-slot. Fuck this lazy asshole. Great stream, Jimbo. From Cogboy. I want to make a Final Fantasy XI reference here. That I think it's fitting. Ha 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 ha. From Jofro. So what are the odds that Donga has a similar conversation to this in like three to five years? I'll give you even money. I'll give you even money on that one, Joe. From Coinflip458. City Hall. My grandma called me fat. Please arrest her. Sir, please stop calling and quoting Final Fantasy. I think that's probably how it went down. From Moon Knight 1001. Hey, Jim, have you followed the Catholic mega kids thing? The black Israelites were involved in CNN, or CNN said they were good boys who didn't do nothing and were just preaching the good word of Jesus. Shockingly, actual evidence proved CNN is fake news. Uh, yeah, the black Israelites are all over YouTube. I don't know how they'd be fooled by that. Uh, it's entertaining shit. If you ever get a chance, go watch it. It's funny stuff, but uh, they're pretty well known. From 2099, no one is entitled to love. This guy makes me sick. Tomba Hat, Red 13 is Donka... <laughs> Red 13 is Donka's persona. Spunky Narwhal, this faggot has ruined my favorite Final Fantasy game for me. I have a feeling he's ruined a lot of things for a lot of people. From Burnt Trees, God, this is the most this is the most pathetic shit I've heard in a while. We need to round up all the Spurgs and put cameras and microphones in front of them for infinite laughs. Gowns down or guns down and hail. Do you think that Bohepin ripped his balls and transitioned to a DDQ speedrunner? <laughs> well, he is a, he's a brony now. Maybe he's taken the plunge and cut his nuts off. I'm not 100% certain. From Zalarius. Hey, Jim, could you tell Chloe you love her? Thanks, mate. I'm not sure who Chloe is. But uh, Zerilus wants me to say I love you. Moonvlad. Remember when you were 13 and your middle school friends would drink Pabst in the woods and there was one faggy kid who would get emotional after, like, one beer? This is a room full of them. From Cloud, that nigger broke the window. Depersoned, I don't care about this faggot. I'm just happy I can finally call you a nigger in peace. Jim, you're a nigger. Feels good. From Unknown J, are you going to upload this to Hell's channel? Uh, actually, Streamy has an archive that's built right into it. Uh, so if you click, it's it's right, it's one of the tabs. Click it and it'll be archived here. From Victor Phantasm. Boss, the furries are exploding again. Sonic Fox is on a seven-week tirade about being gay as a personality. Sexual abuse cases and dog patch press being a pedo supporter really calibrates those cashews. From Sigma Zero, people are asking about the Can Callie intro. Are you a boat fucker? I am not. <laughs> you're, you're using words I don't understand. I'm an old man. Henchcock, 1974, Big Sister. From Grass Cutter, this is your second appearance in January alone. Make a little New Year's resolution, have we, Daddy? From Acorn, Acorn is pronounced with a hard C. Well, that's a, better than a, a soft C, I guess. From Grass Cutter, this is your second... Okay, now I read that one. From Medicarist, you go to notifications and pick donations and see them chronologically. That's actually what I'm doing right now. From Marcus Kruber, come on, come on, nigga, are you black? I'm black. Baron von Ugrensternberg, 
Did you ever get a chance to watch the Sargon of Akkad anime? And if you did, what did you think of it? Uh, no, I've not had a chance to do that yet. From ZT, why do we buy Jim a gaming PC? Because Jim loves video games. But I just ha I have nobody to play Ace of Spades with. It's a fucking... Uh, I don't, I actually, I don't think their servers are even up anymore. I think the game is officially completely, utterly dead. From Senator Hitler, this reminds me so much of a failed child actor turned patriarchal maniac, Aaron Wolf. His dad was critical of his child acting prowess, so he stabbed and shot his mom and pop before killing himself. <laughs> that actually has my attention. I'll watch that uh, later tonight. From Loops, did you witness Real Ross's meltdown on Josh's Thanksgiving stream? I think it was Thanksgiving. He had no one to spend his time with and was starved for attention. He spent Thanksgiving getting bullied on the internet. Sounds about right. From 0212, those sounds like the weird furries that you exposed the other month. Fucking freaks. And then I think we're back to where we were. Deep fried lettuce. Is this Boogie's better help conversation? Just double check to make sure I didn't miss any. And then uh, we'll wrap it up. Why is that not? There we go. Be glitchy on me. I'll go a few more and then we're done. Uh, ZT, please do Deviance After Dark. I probably could do it here. I can't do hardcore. New you know, I don't know. Maybe I can talk him into it. Maybe I can talk him into letting me turn off the mature filter and we just look at the fucked up shit on DeviantArt. Maybe like get, I, I don't know, like an adults only little sign that puts, you know, it's put up when you come to watch the stream and I'm not put on the front page. I will, I will ask them if they will, uh, you know, acquiesce on that. From Min1001, hey Jim, have you seen the situation with rings of, or wings of redemption trolls? Apparently some of them are giant A-logs. Uh, no, I haven't really paid attention to that. And then uh, we're all caught up. All right, guys, uh, thanks for coming out. If you want to watch this video, now uh, let me make sure I get the right link for you here. I'll put it in chat, and I'll tell you the name of it. So you can go take a look at it for yourself if you want to hear the whole thing without commentary over it. Oh, and it's going to, there we go. It's called The Crybabies of Let's Plays, Attention Horror Bohepens the Third, and it's on Gaming Journal's YouTube page. And I will post a link, or my good friend Hal... Uh, we'll post a link on his uh, Twitter account for anybody that wants to go watch it. And I'll post one in the stream chat after I close up. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Be sure to check out the kill stream, which should be starting soon. Have a very good week. And uh, remember to thank God that you are not Bohepins III.